Hello friends, <coughs> welcome to engineering tutorial. In uh, our previous video, we studied about a uh, uh, potentiometer as a resistive transducer and how uh, the linear potentiometer is used to convert linear displacement or straight line motion into a suitable voltage signal. Now in this video, we are going to uh, know about another application of potentiometer in case of level measurement. Now, how can we measure liquid level with the help of a potentiometer or the resistive transducer? So, let us get started. So, the basic concept in uh, level measurement involves that there will be a container or let us say a tank which will be filled with a liquid let us say water up to a certain level let us say here it is L. Now, the height of the container will be H total height of the container. We have to determine this liquid level L with the help of the potentiometer or the resistive transducer. Now, in this case we are using a linear potentiometer not a rotary potentiometer as it is a straight motion uh, the liquid level either will increase or it will decrease in straight line path so for that we need a linear potentiometer so <clears throat> the components required for uh, implementing this level measurement is a flotation device or a float simply a float and a linear potentiometer so let us see how this thing works. So here we have a flotation device which is kept uh, on the liquid level and it floats freely on the surface of the liquid. Now this flotation device is connected to the wiper or the movable arm of the linear potentiometer with the help of an insulated wire. Now, as the liquid level increases or decreases or even if the liquid level is constant at a certain level, the movable arm or wiper of the potentiometer will be in contact with the resistive element or wire at a certain position. This will determine the instantaneous value of the output resistance which in this case is uh, given or denoted as R subscript I. Now, the total resistance of the potentiometer in this case is R subscript P. So, the level of water or the level of liquid in the tank or the container determines the position of the arm or the wiper of the potentiometer which in turn determines the amount of resistance appearing across the output terminal as a result of which by applying the voltage division rule we can determine the output voltage which is taken across these two terminals. So here with the use of a linear potentiometer we have converted liquid level into an output voltage. So <coughs> here the liquid level is at a certain level and this gives us an output voltage V subscript O or the output V subscript O. Now here the liquid level is decreasing as you can see here it is at a certain level here the liquid level has decreased as a result of which the float has come down as a result due to which the wiper has also come down as the resistance the output resistance has changed and as a result the output voltage which is taken across these two terminals has changed. Again, when the liquid level increases from a certain point, the float will move upwards as a result of that, the wiper will also move upwards which will change the output resistance and there will be a, a, con, there will be a proportional change in the output voltage. So, this is the simple way by which a change in the level 
of liquid in a tank or a container is converted into a suitable voltage output signal. Now the uh, output voltage expression is uh, determined by the voltage division rule. We know we have studied it in the potentiometer video. You can also have a look at that. So the output voltage is given by the application of voltage division rule which is given by V supply into the instantaneous value of output resistance by total potentiometer resistance here. This is the instantaneous value of the output resistance which is determined by the position of the wiper which is related or which is uh, directly related with the position of the float. So this level of liquid controls the amount of output resistance which in turn determines the output voltage. So there is a direct connection between liquid level and the output voltage. Now the calibration is done in such a way that for full uh, when the tank is completely full the wiper will be at this point which will give us a suitable output or uh, output voltage which will denote that the tank is full. Now when the tank will be empty the float will be at the bottom and the wiper will also be at the down the bottom most position in the potentiometer which will give a suitable output voltage which will mark the maximum and minimum output voltages corresponding to the full and empty uh, tanks or container. So when the tank is completely empty there will be a particular output voltage and when the tank will be completely full there will be a certain output voltage. Now in between that maximum and minimum output voltages there will be a number of uh, intermediate voltages depending upon the liquid level. So in this way the calibration is done so as we get a particular output reading in terms of volts. So this is the basic principle of conversion of uh, a liquid level into an output voltage with the help of a flotation device and a simple linear potentiometer. Again we have a float which suspends freely or floats freely on the liquid level. This float is connected with the movable arm or wiper of the potentiometer with the help of an insulated wire. When the liquid level changes that is whether it is increases or decreases there will be a change in the position of the wiper which will change the output resistance or the amount of resistance appearing across the output. As a result of that the voltage which will be taken across the output resistance will also change which is determined by the voltage division rule and the given expression V supply into Ri by Rp. As Ri changes this is the variable element Ri the output voltage also changes. So here we have is a is a simplest way in which we can convert a level or liquid level into a suitable voltage signal. So please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.